By the year 2030, 60% of the world's population will live in urban areas. There are already around 1.2 billion passenger vehicles on the road today. By 2030, this figure is projected to reach 1.6 billion. As cities continue to grow, the sustainable transportation of people and goods will become ever more important and complex. For many of today's city dwellers, mobility means stress, congestion and delays. Getting around can also be unhealthy and even unsafe. If nothing changes, these problems will only get worse. This is why we urgently need to address the social, environmental and economic challenges facing urban mobility. Our challenge is to upgrade our infrastructure to enable greater choice for those who need to get to their destination quickly, reliably and cheaply. To do this, we must integrate many different modes of mobility to create a more flexible and seamless user experience. So, what could this future of urban mobility look like? Meet the Osorio family. Joao, Flavia, Eduardo and their dog Pele live on the outskirts of Rio. Their neighbourhood is a dedicated auto-free zone. Bike lanes and wide tree-lined pavements make walking and cycling safe and convenient. Public transport is cheap, dependable, comfortable and safe. The Osorio family uses their neighbourhood's integrated mobility service, which provides access to a variety of private transport options, including citywide e-scooters, bicycles and a car-sharing programme. Flavia works in an office across town. She loves Rio's new dedicated bicycle and scooter highways, which have automated driving lanes, charging points and convenient parking for her electric moped. She uses the dashboard on her scooter to choose the route with the cleanest air and least congestion. Eduardo likes to walk to his new school. His ambient glasses map his location as he walks, helping him find his way and providing information about his surroundings. This morning, Eduardo is learning about the different bird species that live in his neighborhood. Joao is a postman who spends most of his time at the local logistics center. He loves the neighborhood's new consolidation scheme, where all mail and household deliveries get pulled, unpacked and sent straight to each home through pneumatic tubes. To get around, Joao either walks or uses the metro system, planning in advance to board trains with the lowest fares and most empty seats. On the weekend, the family uses the local car-sharing hub to escape the city, taking Peli out for walks and visiting their extended family. This is just one scenario for what the future of urban mobility could look like, encompassing vehicle sharing and smart traffic management and placing a greater focus on walking, cycling and micro-mobility Across the world, we want to design solutions for cleaner, healthier and more livable cities. Join the conversation at www.arup.com and tell us what you can imagine. Arup. We shape a better world.